uh, you look like you're doing great physically and mentally. Uh, how are you doing? Do you want to let everybody know how you're holding up these days, Brutus? I'm holding up great. Um, you know, just had a birthday. Everything's good. You know, looking forward to many, many, many more years. Um, Roman Reigns, huh? What happened with Roman Reigns? Why did you mention Roman Reigns? Because he oh, loves him. He's a great guy. He's a what? Great. Why is it, why is so for, friend of the family? Was he like just recently hanging out? Like I'm I'm wondering why you just mentioned Roman Reigns. You want to talk about Roman Reigns? I'll talk about Roman Reigns. <laughs> no, you well, you were asking yeah. about wrestling and stuff and, and current and, events. You and know, we sir. love Roman Reigns, you know. <laughs> the, that's um, why. Well, Florida, when I started in Florida, he's the, on delay. The, the Samoans Alpha and Sika, which uh are the the fathers of us. Uh, of, of the Samoans uh, wrestling whole community. There's so many, so many kids and cousins and brothers and everything sure. that have come through in, in the business, you know, and those guys were originally guys who helped to break me in, who helped to train me when I was starting the business in 1976. Yeah. So uh, you might say, I, I've been around those, you know, the, the family for a long, long time. Yeah, for yeah. sure. How does it how does it feel then to see Roman taking off right now? I mean, arguably he's the biggest name on um, part of the current WWE roster at the moment. That's great. I'd like to see WWE uh, continue to lead and be a, a, a force in the business. And you know, there's new stuff coming like Bokutan Championship Wrestling. You know, the AEW. There's 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 all kind of there's new uh, new companies coming out. And competition is good. It's a good thing. At least I, that's what I think anyway. Having more is better than less. Yeah, for sure. Well, a lot of legends have decided to pop up over at AEW. I mean, Jake the Snake Roberts, you know, who uh, has been around, Jim Ross. I mean, have you have there ever been any overtures? Would you ever consider making an appearance for, for AEW and doing doing something over there? Uh, not really. Um, I'm still really kind of a you know, WWE guy. Sure. Um, pretty much. And... Um, you know, until, you know, I mean, helping out the uh, guys as the commish, I'm, I'm sure is, you know, not going to cause any problems. <laughs> yeah. um, my uh, my grandson, Gino, he's got a thing for uh, an AEW guy, the Jungle Boy. And I've watched uh, some of his matches, a couple of things, and I, and I actually met him at, uh, at Russell Con in Dallas. And he was a real nice kid. And uh, looking forward to see how he's going to fare, you know, and this is a tough business. He's not a real big guy, but he is super athletic, and it looks like he's got some talent. So it's going to be interesting to see you know, you, how he uh, fares. Do you look at AEW and see anything that resembles what kind of WCW was? I mean, they're different promotions, but at the same time, they are the biggest promotions in the same space as WWE, you know? Uh, maybe, uh, you know, a little bit kind of in, you know, it's, it's, uh, you know, it's different, but it is similar. You know, there's a lot of, you know, there's, they have some really good talent and you know, they have great talent. You know, we get the, the big, uh, guys, Sting, Chris Jericho, who's, who's a friend now. I'm going to be doing the Chris Jericho cruise coming that. up in February. Um, we got postponed this year. Because of COVID nineteen, hopefully, you know, we're uh, seeing the ends of, of this uh, epidemic. You know, see it come to an end, so we can all get back to our lives. Right. Um, totally. And uh, yeah, Chris Jericho, super guy. They, his uh, his guitar player uh, souped up my uh, my Brutus Beefcake theme song, and and uh, it's going to be debuting. Uh, you know, at the show, and I, I'm really excited about that. I can't wait to. Uh, you know, for everybody to hear that. Maybe on this radio program. Hey, yeah, I Missy made sure to get me your latest theme song, so I have it. I'm gonna play it before as we do the intro to this interview. We're gonna try to layer it all together. There you go. That sounds cool. Right. <laughs>